I was one of those people who grew up without support. I've lived independently with no support all my life. And just one day I was hired, I was actually hired to help somebody with a disability. So I was direct support person. Mm -hmm. And that was my introduction into disability services on a whole. And mm -hmm. then after being introduced to that field, I then got introduced to like the council, which was where the policies took place. So uh, I never dreamt in a million years that, that my story would have a, have a uh, say or an impact or anybody would even be interested. So. I didn't grow up with as few supports as you, but We moved to an area that to this day doesn't have the amount of supports that would, that would be necessary. I'm trying really hard to change that, but I'll be honest. Um, I didn't, I didn't think that, to be honest, I didn't think I necessarily mattered to anybody. Why would my story mean anything? It's one of 175,000 just in this state alone. So my little candle is just a little candle, right? Well, not really. <laughs> because you join your candle to all the others and it's like, yep, exactly. you, I've learned there's strength in numbers. numbers and there's family in numbers and when you get people together under the really big tent that disability sometimes is, wonderful things can happen. The cool thing about what we do is bringing together self-advocates like ourselves with the senators and the policy makers and the, the heads of all these agencies. And it, you know, it's like we, we help bring their work to life. Mm -hmm. They no longer just see it on paper, they can see it in us and they hear it from us. I have a thought or a question, I can email one of these agency apps. I can email somebody who's shared the information for me, and that's power. To me, that's powerful. What is decided in the room amongst ourselves as advocates and the larger group of people who work with DHHS, who work with us, and um, Senator Mohammed, who's just coming, and the senators as well. Um, what happens in that room affects people's lives. What you do when you leave the room affects people's lives. And that's the wonderful thing about this council, just getting everybody in the room, even if we're not on the same page, by the end of the day, we're all thinking, you know, in mostly the same direction. What makes the impact is your story in your words presented by you. So one of the benefits of applying and if you get on the council, the, the more self-advocates that I heard, the more changes could be made.